we have some new updates here in regards to 3i Atlas. They are now stating that it is showing the first ever non-gravitational motion. Something that they've been looking for this entire time and they thought that they would get it for sure at perihelion. That's the closest approach to the sun by a comet or an object normally. But this thing has moved. They, they say that it has exhibited the first ever non-gravitational acceleration at this point. So at perihelion, it should have followed a certain path. And they're saying that this thing didn't. It moved off course and to the side, is what they're saying. It was at a distance of 203 million kilometers from the sun. And they're saying that based on this data, the object exhibited non-gravitational acceleration, causing a deviation of about 10 times the Earth's radius. So this is brand new data they're talking about. They, they told us that they were waiting for this moment. When 3i Atlas came to perihelion, it was going to either behave like a comet or it was not as it stretches through this part of the sky. And I will say, some think that this thing has been absolutely hidden behind the sun, but it has not. It's actually sitting above the sun. And if you have a solar telescope like Dobsonian, Tiago over there, you can capture images. And shout outs to him. He does great work. I look forward to seeing some of his images from here in the weeks ahead. Guys like that that are real deal you know, not connected to NASA or nothing like that, and are capturing these images from their backyard telescopes, that's as real and as raw as it gets. Sometimes we can't explain everything that we're seeing, but there's something going on with this one that has been different than any comet that I've ever seen, and I've been doing this for a long time. We've tracked different comets, Elenin, Ison, all these different ones that have come through, even up to here recently. You can see Swan and others look like a comet. They have long, beautiful tails, and they behave like a comet. They don't change course. They don't do none of this crazy stuff, giving off some internal light source that uh, we've never seen before, going faster than we've ever seen, dropping down on a 0.06% chance of a natural object coming down on our plane and then leveling, leveling out and coming right around the sun. And now they're saying that they're going to have to wait to see what this is. There, there's one possible explanation that can go with the theory that it's a comet, even though we haven't seen it give a comet tail. It had a small tail and it flipped it. It reversed it when it went around the sun. Again, all these anomalies connected to this thing, it should be classified as something completely different than a comet. In my opinion, even if it's to some old rock, it's behaving differently because of the composition and all this stuff we don't know. But remember, Oumuamua, the first interstellar that went through here, it picked up speed and left it off out of here. And it wasn't until after it did that they made a big hysteria of it. Just, I'm telling you, there's going to be a lot coming of this in the weeks ahead. A shout out to everyone out there that's got raw images. If you've got something crazy, let me know, dabu7 at yahoo.com. They go on to say here, some, some closing information with this update, that this thing brightening and turning blue is a major anomaly because they say this goes against the cometary nature of dust that always makes comets redder, not bluer. Can anyone say the blue Kachina is here? <laughs> Join me for the live streams going live Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, 9 p.m. Eastern, right here on Dabu 77. Eyes to the skies.